On the 13th of July 2013, at the Queensland Centre for Photography in South Brisbane, Yappa Yappa traditional owner Diane Stokes opened a touring photographic exhibition, Manawanku Under the Nuclear Cloud by Jagat Deer Sakawa. The exhibit tells the story of the resistance to a nuclear waste dump on Aboriginal land, 120 kilometres north of Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory. It is a reminder that the struggle for self-determination by Aboriginal people continues long after native title legislation was introduced into the Federal Parliament by the Keating Labor Government in the early 1990s. Jagart's project dates back to 2010 when Binyon Nuclear Initiative organised a forum in Sydney to inform people of the impact of a decision made in mid-2005 by the Howard government to dump nuclear waste at Manawanku, or Makati, as it is properly known. Listen to Diane Stokes open the photographic exhibition. Um, I want to um, acknowledge the traditional elders here, the Nation Land, and the spiritual people that was here many, many years ago before I was born, before everyone was born, and I want to acknowledge traditional owners of this land, but I want to say their language. Yeah, I've been in the what I want to do. I'm going to do the work of the work I've been in the land. I'm going to do the work of the work I've been in the land. I'm going to do the work of the work I've been in the land. Thank you. I come to acknowledge the people here of this land, past and the present. And I come this way as a horrible, horrible woman to come here and share my message to you people about my land back there and my struggle that I've had for six years against the waste. And um, I was happy um, with Janet because he's been taking around the photographs of my home. And the people back home, the community back home, the elders who passed on and the elders who are now living back home, still alive. Um, they have been together because he's taken the exhibition around with the photographs of my sister, elder sister and the rest of the other families, um, how we live in our community. Um, if you, most of you went through the photographs, right down, there's a green grass and a track goes in, and you can see a little humpy. That's where I come from. I lived there. I've been there for nearly six years, living in a humpy. I come here and stand in front of you people with all my heart, and so be strong, to share my message, to tell you people how we live and how we struggle, to say no to the waste that we have coming to our place, to our homeland. And I'm giving Use my message, I need some support from you people to stand behind me, to help me out for all my struggles I've been as a spokesperson for my wonderful and wonderful people. And I am the strongest in Tenebrae to help my people. I see a lot of my family members, I see a lot of my friends who are not standing for my people. But I did it because I've been a strong person. I grew up when I was young out of the cattle station where I was born in the tablelands. I went hunting. I fetched the food to help my people. And I grew up going out hunting. And when I come back, I fed all my old people. And I knew they gave me their story and I got the skills from my people. I stand here, I'm not shy. I'm not ashamed of you people. I'm not afraid to talk. I'm happy for you people to come and talk to me out. <coughs> and I'm here as a honest person, standing strongly for my people back home. I have six kids, 14 grandchildren, and I'm turning 51 on the 19th when I go home. Get home. I'm going home to have my birthday. So my grandchildren wants to chuck a pie. And they said, no, I don't want a pie. And they're going to make a cake. When you come back, we're going to rub it on your face. Creams. <laughs> For you running away from us, but I'm very happy to stand here and share my message for you people. Thank you for listening.